So in Glasgow, we have routinely adopted now telemonitoring for home ventilation in our COPD patients um, over the last 15 months, and I think it has proven itself to be invaluable. The ability to be reassured about the early progress, to recognise problems with the early progress, and to be able to react to those early problems with the two-way facility um, to adjust titrate therapy or initiate an intervention if there is a leak problem, an integration problem, have nurses visit um, to review the situation at home or recall the patient for inpatient or outpatient review. Um, and also um, for those patients where we've maximised um, our input but they're still not able or not wishing to continue with therapy, we're able to recognise that um, and recover the ventilators, the devices from those patients. Um, I, I can't imagine a situation going back to not using telemonitoring in COPD patients. So things which are missing are the data integration, um, the fact that this sits in a silo separate um, from our other electronic healthcare systems. The communications, the communications sit separately and we have to chase the patients up or find mutually convenient times or they have to chase us up. Um, and that, that, that is a significant time burden um, for, for all involved. Um, I think there's information governance to be resolved but I think the challenge is to make all of this sit seamlessly within our existing systems and also to be able to feed it back to the patient. Currently, this is patient's own data, but it's data that they can't access for their information or their empowerment. I think we have learned from some smaller reports and also with their efficacy and safety adoption work um, with automatic ventilation in COPD patients that this is equivalent and potentially less time consuming and more efficient and more realistic for this patient group. I think we still need to benchmark that and clarify which components of the algorithm are important or need to be adapted, need to be improved. Um, but I think automatic modes are likely to play a core part for many of us um, as we deliver um, home ventilation to the increasing number of patients with COPD for whom it's indicated.